good morning students welcome to your first period uh, for english uh, we will be taking up uh, the story uh, the poetry rather a legend of the northland this uh, few things we should understand before we proceed uh, it's a, the poem is in ballet form when there is a story told in a poem we call it ballet the second thing about it is it's a legend also what's a legend legends are stories and that have been uh, making rounds throughout generations for centuries and centuries and nobody can be sure about the authentication of the story but they use characters from real life right, right. so there are lots of legends in india that we study about uh, ram and hanuman and shank uh, lord shiva and so on and so forth there are lots of legends we nobody knows if they are correct or not but they have real historic characters and they teach us some moral values so legends have been always been popular uh, among the human society in india we popularly call it dada dadi ki kahaniyan the grandmothers generally narrate to the young ones uh, during the time of sleep so these are these two characters first one you see the man with the beard is saint peter saint peter is an apostle of christ apostle means one who uh, spread the word of christianity all over the world after jesus christ one of the major followers of jesus christ and the bird you see is a woodpecker he cursed a lady who was showing greedy ne tendencies and made her transformed into a woodpecker another word that we will come across in this poem is sledge see we have seen ox driven cart horse driven carriages but sledge is something exclusive for areas which are mostly covered in ice um, moving there is difficult so they have a blade like instead of tires they have a blade like structure affixed to a cart which animals pulls animals pull this one is a horse driven uh, sledge as you see and another one is a dog driven you see these are mountain dogs they are they also pull sledges and the northland as they call it because it is in the arctic area in the northern arctic area is always covered with ice so this is the and the winters the entire area become white now let's come to this idea of the poem what basically is the idea behind writing this uh, vb carry uh, right wrote it but um, what was the basic idea first thing you will figure out when we end the after we end the poem that greed if you are greedy you would be punished by god as simple as that this is the message why because we are human beings we have got some other luxuries which other animals don't enjoy we can build houses we can keep our houses warm during the winter we can cook food animals can't do that they suffer during the winter they have no house they have to find shelter so if you are human you have to show certain human qualities to avail those luxuries this is the basic idea that the poet is trying to suggest as i told you this the poem is a legend a legend is a story passed from generations with a reference to historic characters nobody can confirm the authenticity of the story but they do teach you some moral lessons the poem is an example of ballad why because it tells a complete story a story big it has proper beginning the narration of the story and the proper conclusion of the story so although you are reading it poetically but it is narrated um, completely in a fashion that it, uh, it it seems to be telling you a story word meanings are first important part first we get through this then it would be easy to understand the poem although the poem is very simple uh, not very difficult to understand if you read it yourself you will go ahead and understand but a few hidden points that are there that i will be mentioning northland what are northland the country is based in the arctic region norway finland denmark these are uh, referred to in in a whole referred to as northland because these country boundaries were divided way, uh, way afterwards the story goes back to the time of uh, jesus christ so you see 2000 years ago 
so that time all these country and nomenclatures were not there the entire area were uh, demarcated as northland the feature of that is they have uh, wintered throughout the season and you have heard about areas where uh, the land of midnight sun we call it where uh, six months they have day and six months they have night nights are so long that you can't end by sleeping when you go to sleep it's night and you wake up you still find it's night harness i showed you the dogs here tied the you the straps attached to the dogs these are called harness to control the animal the straps attached to the animal to control them now swift swift means quick sledge i uh, we this uh, i showed you this is a sledge and this is another this is a horse driven one this is the dog driven one this is a sledge ice cart a cart that uh, is used to move on ice curious means strange saint peter is one of the followers of jesus christ who uh, preached christianity to the rest of the world preaching is a religious sermon pravachan dena hearth is a stove chulha uh, faint means weak need means mixing flour and water so that a dough could be prepared you understand uh, anta gutna that is kneading dough from that kneaded mixture we pick up a ball and make it in ball shape before we roll it that is a dough provoke means to make someone angry dwell means to live and scarlet means a shade of red now let's come to the summary of the poem this poem tells us a story about a place in the arctic region their days and nights last for 6 months each once saint peter was visiting that area he had not eaten for many days and was weak and hungry he went to the door of a lady who was baking some cakes the holy man begged for a cake basic idea is first if you go through the poetry it will describe the area northland what kind of area northland is and how people dress and how they spend their day second thing is then it will lead you to send introduce you to saint peter he had been traveling all around the world preaching christianity and he had been hungry for several days right so he was very weak faint and very hungry so he went to the door of this little lady who was baking some cakes he begged him uh, her he begged her to give her give him one because he was hungry the young the little lady was very greedy she thought about my all the cakes are big i will give him a small one so she picked up a little bit of dough rolled it with a rolling pin and when she baked it and was about to give it it looked same as the size of the other cakes so she did one she picked another one and tried to make another smaller further smaller one but she said it's strange every time i roll it i intend to make it small but when i try to give it away they look big saint peter noticed that and he was very upset and when he was upset what did he do he cursed the woman and transformed into a woodpecker so so whenever children when they cross they see that woodpecker uh, sitting on a tree they they were reminded of this story that see the result of greed uh, made a woman who had a happy life into a woodpecker and she would now have to suffer in the winter look for her work hard for her food and survive like other she would not be getting the privileges of human beings any longer so this would be it uh, for the first period i will be back soon for the second video till then take care and goodbye